Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the web feature in Fusion 360. As you can see on the left hand side there's a couple of challenges we're going to work through and if you require the final models please check the link in the description below. So if you jump into Fusion so next up is the web feature in Fusion 360. So you can find this feature under create and under web. So as you can see, what we're going to do is create a number of sketches and we're going to create some webs between different parts of uh, this body. So webs might be added to a design to improve the strength, okay, so the rigidity, okay, of these uh, walls here. And also they might be added to hold particular features. So if you had a motor or any electronics or any internal components, they can be used to hold those in place and support them. So if I turn on uh, the first sketch I've created here, what I've done is I've clicked on this top surface and I've created a sketch. And if we go into web and select those sketches, I can use control to select more than one. Okay, at the moment, nothing is happening because I need to tell it what thickness I want this to be. So we type in three millimeters what that's done is taken this sketch here, for example, and has continued that sketch up to this surface here and up to there. But what it does, it's quite clever. It will then skip this hole here and then continue, okay, continue that sketch on up here because there's actually no sketch up there, you see. But it does the same here as well. So it takes that straight line there and continues it to go up towards the two sides or two edges and the same it's gone with this curve it's continued that along that's because we have this option ticked if we untick that it will still create a web but it will create it using those lines okay so again if we go extend it will then extend it to those edges and at the moment we've got okay up to next so up to next allows the web feature to go up to the internal faces of this design. If we check uh, or change it to depth, we can then decide to only create the web that depth. So as you can see, it's 10 millimeters there, 15 and so on. So all depending on what you want to achieve, and we'll do this in the next part of the tutorial in a little bit of further detail and you'll see the result of that. But what we've got here at the moment is it only going down 15 millimeters. But actually in this particular design, I would want it to go up to next. So up to, and it'll follow the shape and it'll follow the fillets all the way up to the body there. Okay, the thickness, as we've said before, if we go from the top view and have a look here, at the moment it's three millimeters i could change that as you can see it gets thicker and what it does at the moment it's symmetric so it's doing one and a half millimeters either side okay if we go one direction it will then go into the internal sort of sides of that line but what we want to do is cut symmetric so we've got either side of the line as you can see on screen and then if we come out we can click on OK. So what we've created there is a basic design in terms of the webs. What they, what we've got is it gone down to that surface there, starting from the top surface. If I wanted to add some extra webs, but I only wanted them to start, say, on this surface here, then what I would have to do is click on that surface go up to sketch and create a sketch. And that's what I've done in here. I've created some sketches that are on that surface. And again, if I now go to web and select these lines using control, because I've got extend on, they are going to extend up to these surfaces. And what's quite clever is it will not go through onto the outside of design. So that sort of recess either side, it's not going through there. It's just extending around those sketches. 
and then up until okay it hits these particular features here so it's not going beyond them it's going up to here if i wanted it to go beyond those then i would have to add an extra sketch an extra line going obviously past these here again if i click on the untick the extends it will just extrude along the sketch and we've got the same uh, options here so we've got symmetric so one and a half millimeters either side to make three millimeters and we go up to next again you still have control of depth if you really wanted to change the depth of those but obviously that design would be floating in mid-air that wouldn't be doing anything really so we could just go up to next and we could go extend click ok very quickly we've added those webs to support those internal structures As I mentioned previously, you can control the depth of a web. And I'm going to show you how you could do that here and use that technique to create an effect. So what we've got is this um, extrude, which I have shelled out and uh, removed both the back and the front. And we've got like a little sort of step, okay, a recess on this bit here. So what I've done is I've created a sketch on this internal face here. And the way I've done that is I've just used a straight line to start with, okay, from the options up here. I then use the, okay, rectangular pattern to pattern it up. And then I've used the circular pattern to create a pattern all the way around. So we've basically got sort of this cross sort of design. So what we're going to do now is if we go up to solid and go to web, uh, we can select these by dragging a box around them and continue to grab these ones. So maybe hold control might be a bit easier, like so, like so. And control, there you go. So sometimes you can drag a box around them or like I just did there, use the control button to select those right now at the moment let's have a look what we've got here. so if we look through the top we've got symmetric so basically it's creating okay this feature either side of the line and it's three millimeters thick so we could change that to two and it will do that one and a half either side of all these lines okay if we go up to next what that's doing is going from that internal face, which is here, it's going all the way up to the top face. So this is where you can actually change and use depth to your advantage. So we can type in there, say two millimeters. What that's doing, instead of going all the way up to that face, it's just going up two millimeters from there. So you get this nice sort of mesh, that sort of offset from this top face. And again, we could go, so three rooms, that's the thickness, sorry. You go three millimeters, okay, or even four millimeters, all depends what you want. And you still have that sort of step down to that design. So that's a, a nice little way of using the depth tool within the web command to create that sort of effect. And there you go, I've got a nice grill sort of design on there, which might be used for a vent, okay, or speaker or something like that. Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.